for the past few years, Accenture's been very aggressive in our cloud-first strategy, and the, the initial part of that was really focused on how do we start to leverage the public environment, drive innovation to hit different economics, you know, as a service business models. More recently, we, we've actually started to, to shift our focus into much more of a hybrid solution and starting to look at the public environment and how do we bring the innovation from public to a private environment. We recognize that in the public cloud, there was the ability to scale, to be elastic, and actually to innovate. When I go and talk to a CIO, usually the first discussion point I have is actually, hey, I've got a lot of things that already exist in my estate. I understand the power and the concept of cloud and how it can help me innovate. How do I get there? It's not about the infrastructure, it's about how does the infrastructure enable your business applications and your business processes in driving your software-defined data center. Both the AWS on the public side and VMware on the private side have been very strategic partners for Accenture. Our initial inclination was to look at our own internal workloads within Accenture and say, hey, can we bring some of these in there to test the waters? There are groups in Accenture called Software Utility Services who are focused on doing very high transactional, business critical applications realized that this was a great environment for them to expand their solutions. They have the ability to do the elasticity in a consistent way across both their private environment, which was a truly VMware software-defined data center, extending into AWS, and now start to take advantage of the AWS services in a very low latency, cloud-adjacent way that is seamlessly integrating into that environment. This now provided a platform that they could start to develop more of their front-end business logic, their interaction with their customers, multi-channel, start to take advantage of big data, but do it in such a way that it's tightly integrated with the existing software-defined data center. So taking the best of what I would call private slash hybrid world with public, putting the right governance on top of that, ensuring that you're getting the utilization, the cost reductions you expect, but also the benefits of all those innovations. This extension into AWS and providing our clients a path or a roadmap, if you will, on how to journey out to leverage some of that innovation that you're seeing in, in AWS and the hyperscale providers is extremely important. So we're extremely pleased with the partnership and we're extremely pleased with the continued products that can come out that help us advise our clients on how to move to cloud.